When you speak about faith, folks have strong emotions about their beliefs. Last Friday, an anti-Jewish hate group stood outside Temple Beth Israel Synagogue and spouted hateful words and messages. Tonight, Suzanne Lawler talks with people of different religions who say that's not okay and shares why they're all working together this weekend to send their own message out into the world. Hope can spring from hate. It's been hard to not get through it without tearing up. Just the, the power of this moment. Reverend Ted Goshorn offered up Mulberry Street United Methodist Church for a healing and unity service this Sunday. We as a congregation, as a Jewish congregation, we don't have the ability to do this without help. Help came in droves when Temple Beth Israel Rabbi Elizabeth Har put out plans for a unity service. Their building can hold about 300 people, but that wasn't going to be enough. We can seat about 600 people in our sanctuary, and then we can seat another 400 watching a live stream here in the fellowship hall. Vineville United Methodist pitched in with chairs. High Street Unitarian said they would bring crucially needed water for folks waiting outside. Yeah, so we've been working on the parking logistics. Centenary United Methodist is pitching in on logistics. It's not just churches coming together. This is really the entire community. Many businesses are opening up their parking lots. In Hearts Mortuary, they're donating fans so people can try and stay cool. Regardless of differences, that we all carry the image of God. And that's what I've seen lived out this week. But they're coming together to surround one another in the midst of a hate crime. And so in the midst of hate, to be able to say love is what wins. Fostering healing through faith. Bahar says it will take time to process the abhorrent scene that played out on a summer afternoon, but hundreds stomping out the sound of a few is a bigger memory to hold on to. I'd heard from so many people across the city letting us know how they disagree with everything that happened, and they're wanting to just stand up and say, this is who we are. We are a united community. We are a family. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. The service happened Sunday at 2 at the United Methodist Church in downtown Macon on Mulberry Street. The doors open at 1230. The church says parking will be available at both the First Presbyterian parking lot and the lot next to the Grand Opera House. There will also be security. The Bibb County Sheriff's Office will be there to check people's bags before they enter the sanctuary.